Hey guys, Zach here, and it's gonna be a quick video on how to overcome limiting beliefs on a consistent basis. And you know, making a ritual every single day that can wipe out any limiting belief that's holding you back. This is the one thing I work on with people. You know, if you're not where you wanna be, you've got limiting beliefs that are holding you back. And I ask people on a consistent basis. The first session I have, I always say to people, you know, give me and bring me three limiting beliefs that you have. And usually people come to me saying, you know, I'm not good enough, that's a common one. You know, I'm a fake, you know, I'm not authentic. You know, I don't think I can do this. All these things, all these stories that they tell themselves. And if you tell yourself a story on a consistent basis, what tends to happen? You start to believe those stories. And when you start to believe those stories, they become your whole identity and they stop you from letting go and flowing with your true self. So the biggest thing I want to go over is how do I overcome limiting beliefs? Like if I don't want to get a coach or I just want to overcome limiting beliefs, what are some strategies on how to do that? The first strategy that I would say is first of all, get clear on your limiting beliefs. So I'd write down a piece of paper right now, what are the limiting beliefs that are holding you back massively? Once you write them down, you're clear. Because right now when you write them down, you're like, cool, are they real? And it's crazy when people write them down and then they read them out to me and always say, they read them out, I'm like, cool, are any of these real? And they always usually say, oh, no. Because from the conscious frame, we know that's stupid. You know, I'm not good enough. Of course I'm good enough. You know, I'm a fake. Of course I'm not a fake. But the reality is they're being conditioned from past events, you know, past experiences. They're being conditioned on a consistent basis that, that, that holds in. And they create and develop our reality. They develop our reality. Right now, you probably have beliefs about yourself that you haven't even challenged. You know, I'm not good enough. Have you ever challenged that? How do you know you're not good enough? Because your mum said it, your dad said it when you were younger, your parents, your grandma, whatever. Because if someone else said something, you're going to believe it. And that's what people do. Like a simple event, example would be in school. The crazy thing about being in school is it creates a lot of limiting beliefs for a lot of people. You know, for instance, you could be going to school and then all of a sudden some other kid says, hey, you're ugly, you're fat. And all of a sudden it's a hypnotic suggestion. So all of a sudden, if you say, I'm fat, oh, really, am I? And then they play that story, that movie that that person said over and over again. Guess what tends to happen? They start to believe that story. And 20 years, 30 years, 40 years goes by, and then they say, hey, I'm ugly, I'm fat. And they've still got that limiting belief because someone else said it. Because someone else said it. They didn't even say it. Someone else said it. And then do you know what? That became their reality. So what I tell people in that scenario is, do you know what? If you're going to believe other people, believe what I'm going to say. Because you're so caught up in believing what this person said when you were five years old. Believe what I'm going to say. I believe you're great. I believe you're phenomenal. I believe you can do anything that you want for your life. I believe in you. You can do it. You are good enough. You can create anything and everything that you want. If you let go of all these limitations, you can have it all. And I know there's a part of you inside that has a burning desire to do more, share more, be more. And you can create that right now with the decision with the decision to say, all of my past is done. I can't change the past. And I'm gonna change every single thing that happened, all the negative experiences into a positive experience because all those experiences made me who I am. They made me who I am. I wouldn't share them or change them with anyone. I'll share them with people to inspire them, but I'll never change it. No regrets, that's what I believe. No regrets, it's all a gift. It's all a gift. What if every bit of pain in your life was perfectly divine timing? What if everything that's happening right now, you know, you're not getting your goals was perfectly timed with the universe. The universe said, you're not ready yet, but you will get it, but not right now. What if you had that level of awareness, your whole life would change. So that's, that's one frame, same thing. So if you write your limiting beliefs down, the second thing I would do is write down the opposite of them. So if you say, I'm not good enough, you could say, I'm born good enough. You know, if you said, I'm a fake, say, I'm never fake. I love who I am. If you say, I hate myself, you can say, I love being me every day. That's an incantation I do. I love being me every day. I teach it to all my clients. I say, I love being me. If I say that on a consistent basis, I start to believe it. It's like hypnosis. It's consistent hypnosis. And if I say something on a consistent basis, it becomes my reality. So that's the first thing you could do. Once you write them down, you start encanting them on a consistent basis. Start saying them over and over again. Because if we use our neurology and our physiology together, it creates a belief system. So if you say to yourself every day, hey, I love being me, I love being me, I love being me, and you're doing push-ups and sit-ups, while you're doing that, you're using your physiology and your neurology. It creates a new belief system. Because beliefs get installed in us for one way. 
when we build emotion around what we say. If I say to myself, I love being me and I feel it and I emotionally feel it inside, what tends to happen? I feel it in every cell in my body and it creates a belief. So as soon as someone says, do you love yourself? I'm like, I love being me. It's just an automatic pattern because I'm so associated and it's connected to my identity. What's another way of clearing up limiting beliefs? Another way is associating in your nervous system. Associates just means in your nervous system, not your head, in your nervous system with emotion right down where your gut is. You associating, what's the worst case scenario if you keep these beliefs? If you keep, I'm not good enough, how much is that going to hold you back from getting that relationship, by growing that business, by getting that body of your dreams? It's going to massively hold you back. So you need to associate and close your eyes and feel the worst case scenario. One year from now, if that belief hasn't changed and nothing's changed in your life. Five years from now, if nothing's changed, even 10, 20 years, how old do you look with that belief still encanting over and over again in your head? That ages you, that stuff. That stuff ages you. If you hold on to limitations, they age you. But if you let go of them, if you let go of them inside, you can have everything that you truly deserve. And all it takes is associating in your nervous system and clearing them. Because if your brain goes away from pain and into pleasure, it wants to avoid pain. So if you can associate pain to not changing right now, your body will do everything in its power to change. And then you've got to say, after you've cleared up those limiting beliefs, you ask yourself, what are the opposites of those beliefs like we did before? And then you close your eyes and ask yourself, where am I going to be a year from now if I had, hey, I love myself every day. Where am I going to be five years from now when I say to myself, I love being me. I get to be me every day. I love my life. What is that going to do if you start doing that five years from now, 10 years from now, you look a lot, a lot younger and you create the life that you deserve. These are two simple strategies that you can use that can wipe out any limiting belief. Any limiting belief. But just got to realize one thing. Everything, in your, everything that happened in your past, it's done. It's done. Lose it. Forgive it. Let it go. If you've got anger towards someone, forgive that person because you know what? You're holding on to that resentment. As soon as you let go of that stuff, and you let go of that stuff and you focus on the now and where am I going and you have that gratitude from the past because that made you who you are, everything that you can have, everything you dream of, you can manifest into your life. Start living in this space. This is high level of awareness. I've seen so many people being crippled their whole entire life and they have a choice to change, but they don't change. They live in this fear, pity pot world of life happens to me. Well, the reality is everything, everyone's been through pain. Everyone's been through worse pain, maybe worse pain than other people. But how does that help you by focusing on it and holding on to it? Do what you can to let it go because you can and you deserve a quality life. Have a phenomenal day and let go of all the limitations that you have and replace them with empowering ones and your life will transform. Boom!